Hi, I'm Tim Hall. I attended the last city council meeting and witnessed Mayor Sobranti, Vice Mayor Hildenbrand, and Council Member Schultz conduct reasonably fair and respectful interviews of the top three candidates for the vacant council seat. Even though I supported the appointment of John Zakowski, I want to con congratulate you for selecting an excellent person for, to fill the seat. Don Biddle appears to be a highly qualified, well-respected, and well-meaning applicant, and I expect that he will do a fine job on the council. Having said that, I must say that I was appalled at council member Kevin Hart's rude behavior at the meeting. At the start of the meeting, the mayor reminded everyone to be respectful of others, but apparently Hart didn't think that applied to him. He took obvious delight in publicly belittling one of the finalists. He turned what should have been an uplifting civic occasion into a mean-spirited display of petty favoritism and bullying. Hart perverted the selection process with his sarcastic put-downs and condescend condescending <coughs> interrogation of candidate John Zukowski, while clearly building up the other two candidates with his fawning questioning of them. He also insulted a large number of Dublin voters by scoffing at Mr. Zukowski's almost 4,000 votes in the recent election. It was clear that Hart had no intention of considering Mr. Zukowski for the position. He merely wanted to take advantage of the opportunity to publicly embarrass a former political rival. Fortunately, such behavior says so much more about the character and upbringing of the bully than the person they are attacking. Hart's vindictive display was insulting, unprofessional, and shameful. Bullying and demeaning others may be Hart's manner in his day job and in his personal life. And I think we can all agree that it must be a very ugly thing to witness. But it is entirely inappropriate for an elected official, especially in a televised civic process. To his huge credit, Mr. Zukowski showed remarkable dignity in the face of Hart's antagonism and childish put-downs. And I'm sure many Dublin citizens are now convinced that they voted for the wrong person. Hart owes Mr. Zukowski and the entire city of Dublin a genuine public apology, as does the rest of the city council, for letting Hart get away with his unethical and malicious questioning and not saying a thing. And as, a, as an aside, I don't think it's a good idea at all to have Kevin Hart take the ethics training online. I think he needs to be at the in-person session because he needs a very strong dose of ethics. Thank you.